In this video, we'll talk about the importance of performance coaching. By definition, performance coaching is a process where one individual facilitates the development and action planning of another. This can be done in a personal, organizational, professional, or entrepreneurial context. For instance, on a personal level, individuals can seek career coaching, emotional coaching, life coaching, and even something like hypnotherapy, among many others, to achieve their goals. Let's take a look at career coaching to start off. If you feel stressed or worried about your job security, the coaching can help you cope with career changes, identify strengths and transferable skills, set realistic goals, and develop a strategy to achieve the career you want. So if your goal is to learn new skills, change your role, and give your career a boost, career coaching could help you get all that. Likewise, if you need to manage emotions better to have a positive effect on your personal and organizational performance, you can look to emotion coaching to help you deal with change and conflict, gain a better understanding of responses to challenging situations, and discover strategies to maintain positive and calm effects. Not only can individuals benefit from this type of coaching, but even those who are team leaders, managers, and those in a position of authority can use it to understand how motivation can have a positive impact on the productivity of their business and the performance of the employees. So in a business context, performance coaching can improve a company's sales performance, enhance strategic thinking skills, and take the business to the next level. In fact, performance coaching is one of the many execution efforts to gauge individuals and companies towards achieving goals. Such coaching creates engagement to get things done. Business corporations and team leaders of all sorts need to become good performance coaches to put their strategies into its execution phase. While there are many performance coaching methods out there, the most popular one seems to be something called the GROW, G-R-O-W method. Managers use this model to help their employees improve work performance, enhance problem-solving skills, become better decision makers, acquire new skills, and achieve their career goals. Once again, the acronym like SMART SMART, G-R-O-W GROW, also helps create the right context to help individuals transform their potential into peak performance. What is the GROW coaching model? The GROW model offers the coach a simple yet effective framework for goal setting and problem solving. The GROW model works with the collaboration between a coach and a coachee to work towards achieving goals. As a leader, the coach may be a manager, a seasoned entrepreneur, a teacher, or anyone in a similar position who can help a subordinate make better decisions, solve problems that may be holding them back, learn new skills, and otherwise progress ahead in their careers. So how does GROW work towards achieving goals? Referring to an earlier example of taking a trip, first you decide where you want to go, goal. Then establish where you currently are, reality. Then look at all the possible routes to your destination, options. Before you establish the way, will, to commit to making the journey and getting ready for any obstacles along the way. All right, let's break that down for easy understanding. G, goals. The most important part of the coaching phase is to define and agree on the goals to be achieved. Coaching begins with determining a relevant goal. This could be anything from a development goal, a performance goal, a problem to tackle, or even a decision to make. Such individual goal setting is very important for execution as we have previously seen in earlier chapters. If the goal seems overwhelming at the initial stage, try breaking it up into smaller fragments before moving on. Identifying the goal. What do you want to accomplish? What would be the ideal outcome? How would achieving this goal benefit you? R. Reality. Reality lets you examine the current situation. If you want to proceed ahead with pursuing your goal, you need to be objective. Where execution is concerned, being realistic will let you remove many false assumptions from getting to your goal. Reality is also all about gaining awareness of the present situation. Too often people try to solve a problem or reach a goal without considering their starting point. As such, they miss information they need in order to reach their goal effectively. 
Once there's a clear understanding of the situation, options can be explored for generating solutions to reach goals. Identifying reality. Where do you stand in relation to your goal? What's an important factor in your success up till now? Why haven't you reached your goal already? What would you do better this time? Oh, options. After exploring the reality, focus can shift to considering the options. Options is when the individual explores and identifies ideas and solutions. This step lets you determine what is possible and what is not. The coach does not make any decisions for you, but only guides you in the right direction. Exploring options. What options do you have? What do you think you need to do next? What would you do differently from before? How could you do it differently? W. Will. This is the final component of the GROW model, where the will or the way forward for execution is established. In other words, the action plan for the next steps is determined. The purpose of this final phase is to transition to a decision as to how you can achieve your goals. It's sort of like a commitment to specific actions to move forward towards the goal. Exploring will. What resources could help you? Do you think there's anything missing? When will you start? Applying the GROW model to businesses. In a traditional scenario, the GROW model coach only acts in the capacity of a facilitator assisting the client to choose the best alternatives without offering any advice or a direction. When the same is applied to a business leader, a few things may change. For instance, the team leader or executive may already have an expert opinion to offer, and it's part of their job to guide team members to make decisions that are best for the organization. Yet, at the same time, it may be more proactive for people to draw conclusions for themselves rather than have these imposed upon them. Example, you've been at your job for the past year and would like to be promoted to team leader within the next two years. Now, this is a SMART goal, which is specific. You want to be the team leader moving ahead with your career. Measurable from entry level to team manager. Attainable because you already have some experience in the field. Relevant to your career. Time bound. You're giving yourself a time frame to work within. Based on this SMART goal, you and your coach can brainstorm the additional skills you need to be successful in achieving your goal. You may need more experience of managing other people, dealing with overseas customers while also performing well in your current position. You work with your coach to review available options such as lead a small team so you can get the experience you need. Perhaps you could spend some time in the overseas team. When establishing will or the way to move forward, your coach or manager could actually let you lead a small team on a minor project and mark your progress. You now have set the wheels in motion towards achieving your goal, otherwise also referred to as strategy to execution. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.